it brings up a point of how important it is to not shun the new ways, right? I mean, we have so many people that fight the online component and the digital component of building a business. Everyone has gone digital or is trying to figure out how to go digital. What do you think this means for, for our landscape moving forward? I mean, there's some businesses that uh, there really isn't much we can do, like the travel industry. <laughs> oh, yeah. I mean, but then there are other businesses like the restaurant industry, right? And so um, there has been, uh, you know, just catastrophic damage <laughs> that has happened to that industry. Um, but at the same time, it's like, hey, going hard on delivery, you know, figuring out how to reach your customers digitally, repackaging um, some of your menu offerings to be able to serve a lot of these families who would probably really love, you know, to have, you know, different types of meals because let's face it, what can we do right now? Work and eat. Like that's pretty much it. Like work. <laughs> and work. hopefully you can, you can work out an exercise routine somewhere. Oh, in the- <laughs> you know, so it, I, I do still feel like restaurants have a bit of a fighting chance, you know, compared to the travel industry. It's just about repositioning. If the truth of the matter is um, when we look at the government assistance that is coming out, it's not going to be enough. And so, you have to figure out a way to innovate. You have to pivot your business model and you have to figure out a way to bring in revenue or, you know, you need to have something in reserves. If you don't, you know, if you don't have it, I mean, there's nothing you can do at this point, but hopefully if you do have something in reserves to sustain you over the next couple of months, you're going to have to press pause and live off of that. So that's just kind of what the situation is.